In this video, I'm going to take you through a tour of the agent interface in CallFire's Cloud Call Center. As a reminder, I strongly recommend using Google Chrome or Firefox as your web browser. You'll log in by going to callfire.com and clicking the blue login in the upper right. Enter in your email address and password that you registered with. This is the login page that you'll see as a caller. You'll notice this interface is a bit different than what you see as an administrator. When you, log in, when you log in as an agent, you'll be taken directly to this page with a listing of all of the campaigns you've been invited to as an agent. Now I want to bring to your attention the settings bar at the bottom of your screen. This menu is where at any time you can edit your account details, change the phone number you'd like to use, or perhaps change your hold music. You'll also see that you have a help icon. That's where you can report any kind of error that you're experiencing or any kind of one-way audio issue. That end session icon to the very right, that's how you'll log out of this account, and when the time comes, that's how you will disconnect your dialing session as well. To begin making dials and join a campaign, you'll select Join Campaign next to the campaign name. You'll receive an incoming call from CallFire almost immediately after selecting this. Answer the call and do not hang up your phone after answering. You'll want to maintain this connection in order to make your calls. Here, you can review your script and questions before making your first call. Keep in mind the screen will be different for every campaign depending on the settings for that campaign. When you're ready to get going, click Begin Dialing. Now the system is dialing numbers for you. You'll listen to hold music as the dialer attempts to connect you to someone. Callfire does detect and skip all disconnected, busy, and no answers, so you'll only be connected to answering machines or live answers. Displayed on the right side of your screen will be the contact information that was included in your original spreadsheet. Under the contact name, you can see that you will have an option to add someone to your do not call. This will be captured and saved in your CallFire account and referenced in the future. You also have the ability to schedule a callback. This feature is not available in the demo, so I'll describe it for you. Let's say I'm speaking with Carl and he asks to be called back tomorrow. I click on schedule callback, select tomorrow, and when you log back into your account tomorrow, you will be prompted to call back Carl and anyone else with the same request. At this point in the demo, you'll see a Smart Drop feature available. Smart Drop allows you to leave a pre-recorded voicemail message and drop it while quickly moving on to the next call. The transfer option allows you to transfer a call to a third party. For example, if you bring in a telemarketer and they get in touch with someone who'd like to be transferred to a manager, you'd want them to have the ability to transfer that call. You do also have the ability to enable an assisted transfer on a campaign, so that would be handing off that contact to another representative with a warm introduction before disconnecting. So as soon as you hit transfer here, it will send Sandy Beaches over to that sales representative so they can continue a conversation while I'm freed up to move on to my next call. Now a survey or a question set might be useful for your campaign. The questions and answers will vary depending on the type of campaign. For now, let's imagine that I'm speaking with Heather and capturing her information. You'll always want to remember to hit save at the bottom in order to have this information saved and reflected back in your call records. You'll get a confirmation up at the top of your screen before moving forward. Now this take a break button, if you do need to pause between contacts, you can use this feature. Please note this does not end your dialing session and therefore still counts as time logged into the dialer. 
You are still billed for the time you are paused on a campaign. This option works for, say, a quick coffee refill. If you want to take a longer break, say for a 30 minute lunch, I recommend hitting this end session. This will end your dialing session as well as your billing session, so you won't see any charges for that break. When you do return and log in again, the dialer will pick up, will pick up right where you left off in your contact list. This is where we will end our tour. Thanks for watching and thanks for choosing Callfire.